look like you need the pain pill. Hi, I'm Dean Bushmiller with Expanding Security. The pain pill is every Tuesday for a couple of minutes to find one thing that can make us more secure, make us better at our job, and make our job better for us. Come to our Black Friday sale, Bitly Pain Pill 39. Yeah, we're actually having a sale on training. Our Black Friday sale is going to give us 25 to 50 percent off of the new ISS MP course. It's going to be a five-week course minus the holidays. It starts December 13th and goes to January 25th. It's 30 minutes per day at lunch, and we'll have more details later. I wanted to talk about some exam myths. I wanted to bust some myths because I get a lot of students coming to me and saying, oh my God, Dean, this is happening. This is a horrible thing. Oh my God, this is happening. And I have to kind of talk them down off the ledge. So I wanted to take all the myths that I had learned and all the myths that I had brought back to the exam committee when I was an official instructor for ISE Squared and I wanted to bring them to you and kind of dispel them all at once. I wanted to bring the Mythbusters along, but uh, they really couldn't fit inside this camera. Myth number one, the exam is all new for 2011, for 2012, for 2015. That's not true. The exam changes very slowly. They have these things called seed questions that take time to incorporate into the exam. Not all seed questions make it. Some questions that test well stay around for a really long time that have no bearing on what's going on now in our technology. So new questions are added and old questions are phased out over a long period of time. I think that the exam probably changes 5 to 10% per year according to my students. Myth number two, the exam is graded on a curve. Totally wrong and totally busted. The form must have a 70% pass rate. That's the form of the exam. And every single exam must hit around that 70% pass rate. If your exam is harder than the exam that I'm taking, your score is going to go down a little bit and my score is going to go up a little bit. But it's only going to be by a very small percentage because they need to make all the exams test the same way. So they're trying to make all forms of the test less than 1% different. So there's really no curve. Myth number three, you must score a 70% in each domain. Well, here's the problem. The exam's been around for 25 years, and this was true in the first couple of years, but it's not so now. Psychometricians, the people who make exams, say that that's an inappropriate way to test people. You have to test the whole person and the whole exam. You may take a dinger in one domain and it's going to hurt you, but it's not going to kill you. Myth number four, the official course or readings from ISE Squared gives you some sort of edge over everybody else. This book is better than that book. I don't think so, because what happens is there are two separate groups that make the training and make the exam, and they're not allowed to talk. By the ISO standard, they're not allowed to mix together, so there's no edge from one to the other. And believe me, I've been on the exam committee, and I've been on the courseware committee. We never talk to each other. Myth number five, the exams are technical, so study every bit of data you can. That's totally not true and totally busted. They're management exams about technology and security. You can get more pain pills by going to YouTube or expandingsecurity.com forward slash pain pill. Okay, here's our Black Friday sale. So you can go one of these two links, bit.ly pain pill 39 or the really long link there. Only on Friday, Black Friday. Enter as a guest and type your name. Then what's going to happen is you're going to see a bunch of slides going by and each one of those slides is going to have discount codes on them. They're totally random. You can get from 25 to 50%. You write down one of the discount codes and then click the link to buy the ISS MP. It's going to be a great class. We've got a bunch of people in it already that are really excited to work together toward getting their ISS MP. I hope you'll join us. I hope you'll tell people about our sale and hopefully you don't need a pain pill until next week.